Nant, ek is Marie Weber, baie baie welkom aan elke ouwer, elke kunstenaar en elke fotograaf. Ek vraag graag ons uh, governing body culture portfolio, Ms. Karin Robertson, to please come and just open this event. Goedenavond allemaal. Toe Tanne Marie vir my gevraagd om te open, het ek nogal begin waar die begin. En toe besef ek, dis net daar waar ons moet begin. Want heel aan die begin was daar niks. Daar was die Heere en daar was niks. En toe het hy gedoen wat elke een van die kinders vandag gedoen het. Hy het geskep. En kins en skep het ek net weer eens besef, is dis waar alles begin. That's where we start, creation. So, each one of you had such a big accomplishment because you created. You did what God did first when everything started. You created. So, I will for now for you say, elke een wat ietsie gedoen het, wat gevarf het, wat geteken het, jylle is vandag die appel van die Heerse oog. Die kinders wat dier die camera lens gekyk het, Jy het vandag die mooi of die hartseer van die wereld gesien, wat die Heere geskep het. So, you took what God gave you, and you did what He wanted you to do. You created. So, ek wil vanavond vir julle sê, julle moet groei, want mens kan dit sien. You can see God's love and God's beauty in everything that you do. And in your creation, he made the world, and you are definitely making it a better place. So, please close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we would like to come and say thank you for this abundance of talent. Thank you for being able to see the world through the eyes that you created. And we are privileged to see your artist at work. En ons wil vanavond vraag dat die elke een van die kinders sal inspireer. En dankie vir elke onderwijser wat hulle leer en wat elke mama wat daar sit en, en daar is. Om hulle te help. Om hulle te help. Dankie dat hulle die wereld vir ons kan wees. In Jesus naam. Amen. Thank you Karin. I now would like to call on our adjudicators just for a very short, very very short report or feedback on the uh, pieces that they adjudicated. The first one I want to call on is Izet Bredenhan, who judged the artwork. Izet, all yours. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I had the privilege to act as adjudicator for the art section, and I just want to thank each and every single one of you who entered we had lovely entries and we wish to see this event grow even further. We went on journeys from grade 12s all the way down to grade R, where we started with my world, my inspiration, all the way down to my dream house. And did I see some lovely dream houses? Um, grade 2s and 3s showed us their favorite desserts. And they love ice cream, if you didn't know. Um, we saw some summer vacations, some musical instruments, and some fishing trips. It was really wonderful to see these kids take the elements of art and manipulate them into their own unique ideas. They were all captivating and inspiring in their own ways. And I just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to be the adjudicator. I uh, just want to say congratulations to all the winners and we hope to see you again next year. Thank you. Thank you, Izette. And from the bottom of my heart, she did, went to so much trouble with each and every comment. It, it's amazing. I, I wish that you will take some time just to read through them. She did it with passion and with heart, and I salute you for that. Thank you so much. And then our adjudicator for the photography session, uh, section was uh, Mr. Darius Erasmus, an accomplished photographer, as well as a guitarist, as well as Mr. Swagger. 
Kalavila. Um, that's okay. So I've book. I had a lot of fun judging the photos. There was some very, very good work there. Seriously, um, there's a lot of work there that's better than when I was when I was starting out of photography. Um, what the kids are learning here is proper, proper, very useful things, very professional. And it's uh, obviously there's a lot still to learn, but that's the fun side of, of any art form is you never stop learning till the day you die. And the better you get, the more you realize how much there's still left to learn and the more exciting it gets. And um, that's one of the main reasons why I quit my day job was to, to not be bored anymore. And photography is one of those things, well, any art form basically, that you never get bored at because it constantly evolves and you constantly learn. And uh, what I saw here from the kids was there's a, lot of, there's a lot of very, very good photos. There's a lot of good things that they saw. There's obviously still a lot to learn, but, it's, but it's, uh, the quality of the work is on a very nice international professional standards and um, and yeah if the kids keep on going like this there's actually maybe a career in photography for them so not one of the easiest things to do as a career but um, but still very doable if you could stand out amongst the rest and uh, I think most of these kids will stand up stand out from, from most of the rest out there so but yeah that's it. Ik ga nou vir mevrouw Karin Roberts en vraag om die certificaten uit te deel. So as jy jou naam hoor, moet jy vinnig kom en ek het vir die hele bonnelkie gegeven, want ek wil graag die name lees. Right, in ons derde plek vir die fotografie afdeling van die heel eerste MDDK uit Stedford word gedeel door Lisa Maguire en Rachel Smith. Please come up ladies, I don't think Rachel's here. Lisa is in grade 12, so she has a hectic program. And in second place, Samuel Locher Clark. Sammy. <laughs> and our winning photographer of this section was Leola Fasahi. Now we're going over to the art section, the kunstafdeling, and I get it now so gesit, ons begin so by the heel eerste, die beste prijs. The crayons, the crayon category, the theme was my house or my dream house, and the winner is Luan Lubbe. Ah. <laughs> In die tweede plek het ons mejuffrouw Imke Lewis. Klare kunststreep met die blauwe haarkies, nee? En in die derde plek het ons vir Anelia Foster, mejuffrouw Anelia Foster. Well done. Receive your certificate. There we go. Good, dan kom ons by die tweede kategorie, die kwassies or the brushes, grade twos and threes. Their theme was my favorite food or my best dessert. In die eerste plek, Amy van Blommestein. Baie geluk. Tweede, oeh, hier maak jy meisies amok, Ilana Lubbe. O, jyne, geluk Ilana. Is it now pa of ma se talente? Kan jy nie teken nie. <laughs> Ons hoop jou vrou kan teken, anders is al moeilik uit. <laughs> and in third place, Elizabeth Hammond. Congratulations. Die volgende kategorie is die pastelle, die graad 4 en 5. Sal het thema was Summer Memories or Summer Vacations... In die eerste plek, a man, wow, wow, M. Je Poel. Die tweede plek word ingeneem door Jelana Muller. En in die derde plek, het ons Irma van Wijk. Applaus 
baie geluk. The next category, the pencils, grade six and sevens, their theme was music instruments or musicians. This was a very popular category. In the first place, ma'am Isabella Dando. And the tweede plek wordt ingeneem door meneer Henk de Wet. And then the third place is shared by Hinsovo Mabila and Caitlin Ferreira. Congratulations, winners. Ons beweeg aan naar die charcoals toe, die houtskole, graad 8 en 9 Hulle thema was vis, visvang of visserman. In die eerste plek, Ivan Bota. En sy het achter op haar skilderij die mooiste, ek wil amper sê proza geskryf, oor, oor vis en, en, en die vrou wat, wat wil vis. In second place, we have Chloe Beretta. I don't, I haven't seen her. I think she's not here. No, she's not here. And you are just in time. The third place with the charcoal category is shared by Jimmy Shaviri and Mia Spalmer. And then the top of the pops, the Picassos, grade 10s to 12s with a the theme, My World or My Inspiration. In the eerste plek het ons vir Mia Wiet. Hier saam met my het ons die kunstbeoordelaar Izet Bredenan, wat dans by Stanford School hou en kunst as schoolvak gee. Izet het baie moeite gedoen om baie mooi kommentaar by elke kunstwerk te skryf. What was your, what was the experience like? Were you overwhelmed? It was a wonderful experience. I really, really enjoyed it. I felt privileged to be able to be adjudicator. Um, I wasn't too overwhelmed, except when I saw all the ice creams that we had. <laughs> it was a wonderful experience. I'm so glad. Is it only had three weeks to judge around about 68 different artworks ranging from grade R right up to grade 12 with seven different categories so a job well done we will definitely ask you again in future is that okay yes thank you thank you so much that's a wrap thank you is it Dit is my voorreg om nou een vinnige onderhoud te doen met Darius Erasmus, wat hierdie jaar die beoordelaar van die fotografieafdeling by die MDDK I Stedford was. Darius is self een oud plaasie wat natuurlijk ons allemaal sy blauw hart is om warm laat skop. Wat er jaar het jy gematrikuleer? Um, Jussie, uh, 99, precies 20 jaar terug. Wow, nou toe, na 20 jaar is hy een beoordelaar. Darius, in short, just uh, your take on the photography section. I know there weren't that many entries this year, but it's it will definitely grow. I think we had seven or eight portfolios. Um, yeah, I think there was, there was about eight. Um, well, the, the level of professionalism on the photos that I saw was very, very good. It's a uh, type of stuff you see in, in national competitions that I've been com competing in uh, as well. Um, so definitely, if you look at the photograph, you'd never say it's, it's high school kids. Um, you just say it's photography entries uh, in any competition. So the quality was quite good, yeah. Ah, that's so, so good to hear. And all uh, congratulations and thanks go to Ma'am Annika who is the photography teacher, and she's also a professional photographer as you are. What is your favorite type of photo? Ooh, human beings. Anything that does, I can photograph human beings. Human beings are the most interesting creatures that are out there. So it's, it's yeah, they can get 10 different emotions in five seconds from, from a human being. So yeah, they're always the, the most fun to photograph. All righty, so next year we'll definitely include that section as well. This year we had, what did we have? Sport, motion, nighttime, mm, uh, landscape. landscape, lifestyle, wildlife. wildlife. Yeah, so 
and and the children all had to uh, enter three different photos from three different categories in their portfolio. Some of them went to town and they entered, I think one of them entered about 12 or 13 different photos because she just couldn't choose. So we are extremely excited about the photography section at the new MDDA I stayed with. Thank you, Darius. Yeah, it has been a big pleasure. Thank you very much. Wat een lekkerte om nou met twee prijswinners hier voor die microfoon te staan. Sê gauw vir ons, wat is jou naam, Pop? Ek is Ilana. En hoe oud is jy? Graad 3. En hier langs haar staan haar boetie? Loan. En hoe oud is Loan? 7. En in graad? 1. Hier die twee is definitief twee kunstenaars om dop te hou onder een dak. Loan was die wenner van die graad R in een afdeling en sy sisse Ilana hier langs my was tweede in die graad 2 en 3 afdeling. Wat was die naam van jou kunstwerk Ilana? Die Reese Reenboog Melkskommel. Die Reese Reenboog Melkskommel. Kijk net hoe lekker lyk dit. En jou na Loan? Toering vol aksie. My huis het een toering vol aksie. Baie, baie geluk jylle twee. Ek hoop mama gaan hierdie prente raam en dit in die gang hang. Gaan jylle vaas sê? Ja, Tani. Ja, Dankie dat jylle gekom het hoor. Lekker teken. Right now I am flanked by two budding artists from Mawawa High School near Mamitwa. On my right is Tumbuluko Ngobeni. Tumbuluko Ngobeni. And on my left, Jimmy Shibiri. Mr. Jimmy Shibiri. These two artists did extremely well in our MDDA art competition recently. Please tell us what the name of your artwork is, Jimmy. Nature is beauty. And do you believe that? Yeah. It's not only girls that are beauty. Nature as well. And you, Ntumbuluko? Um, my artwork talks about the peace around South Africa. This explains how people are treated outside there. As you can see for yourself on my artwork, there is a girl who is folded on her, on her mouth because she they don't want her to talk about the things that she's going through. And there's someone who see it as this eyes shows that there's someone see it, but... They are unsaying a thing about it. They prevent her from speaking out. Yes. It's a very, very touching piece. I, I get goosebumps and I know that the judge was also extremely moved by this artwork. I trust that the school will give you some funds to frame your artwork so that you can forever and a day be proud. We are so glad that you two guys traveled all the way from Amitwa to come and join us tonight here at Marinsky High School. Well done and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.